Hi and welcome to Draw Plans. I'm Tom Norris and today I wanted to show you how to use the trim tool. Trim tool is an essential tool if you're doing architectural drawings as it has a wide variety of uses. Once you understand it and learn how to use it, uh, I think you'll find loads of different applications and ways of using it. I was probably using uh, CAD for maybe six months before I discovered the trim tool and uh, to be honest I wish I'd learned how to alert, learned about it and, and uh, applied it much sooner. So here we go, what is the trim tool? Well, first off let me say that I'm using um, TurboCAD today, I'm using TurboCAD Deluxe. I've got a tool palette open here and the line tools is uh, an essential part of that. So is the modify. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we set ourselves up mostly for architectural drawings. Um, and you, you, you'll soon discover whether it actually works for you or not. So I'm going to turn off my tool palette here so that I can show you how we create uh, the tools we work with. So up here, top right, uh, this brings up a customize option. So what we want is we want palettes and all I want is tools here. There's various other bits and pieces and I suggest you you know check all these out at some point but for today all we need is the tools palette. So we close it and there, are, there I have basically all the tools, all the essential tools I need uh, for especially for architectural drawing for the line tools snaps that sort of thing uh, of course a lot of the work we do uh, needs mod modification or modifying so the modify tools are over here and they, they generally you click one you come out in a block giving you more options so, but what I like to do is I like to have the modify tools here on my right click button so what I do is I set myself up to have the line tools and the modify tools on my right click so I'm going to show you how to do that as well so again back up to the top top right and uh, this time you're going to go to pop-up toolbars and disengage anything that's already set and just click on the line and modify and once you close it uh, you've now got the line tools and modify and today what we're going to be focusing on is this little trim tool uh, it's up here on the top right but uh, here on the right click for convenience so the trim tool so let me let, let me let me just give you a demonstration so for example trim tool is all about trimming stuff They're taking away unwanted stuff so for example let's assume I wanted to get rid of this line here uh, then I could very simply click on trim click on this particular line which is now going to be used almost like a sword it's going to cut everything uh, on the bottom or the top whatever you want you choose but before it will operate in that manner the trim before it will operate as a trim you got to touch spacebar so I've just hit spacebar and now I'm going to click the line and the line disappears if I wanted to do it in reverse I'll click again trim click the, uh, the, the horizontal line, touch the space bar, and now I'm going to click below. So, and that, that applies to anything. Uh, in fact, anything at all. So you're just left with the line. Uh, so, of course, it'll do much more complicated objects. So what we're going to do now is just click on the uh, trim tool again. This time I'll pick uh, this line, and I'm going to hit space bar to make it act as a trim tool and then I'm going to cut the top off so it will cut uh, almost anything you want uh, again if I want to cut the bottom click on the line hit the space bar excuse me hit the space bar there we go uh, so it really it really is a very useful tool and especially when it comes, if you're joining objects or you're sketching out bits and pieces and you're joining them together, let's see how we could apply it here. So if I was to click on this particular, uh, let me go again, select. Yeah, uh, this time I will select, let me get rid of that, just select the circle. So what, what's going to happen now if I trim? What do you think is going to happen? 
Well, uh, if I click on, if I if I'll touch spacebar first, but once I've done spacebar, I'm ready to trim. So if I was to cut, if I was touch this line now, it's going to disappear. So now if I, um, let's just swap it around a bit, show you how we can use it differently. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click uh, what's left of the square and I'm going to hit spacebar and I'm going to take the rest of the circle out. So you're starting to get an idea of how it works. It's brilliant. It's a brilliant tool. It's such a simple tool and I, I really uh, regret that I didn't learn it much quicker. Um, but th th that's how it is. You're so keen to get on with TurboCAD. You don't necessarily take a little bit of time to you know, come to come to grips with some of these tools. And the reason I introduce, say, the trim tool to you rather than another one, and specifically, is because they're really useful. You use them every day. You use them as part of your work. I, I suppose it has a far wider range of uses than architectural uh, drawings. But uh, in fact, these are the little tools we're going to be introducing you to and creating short lessons, uh, CAD lessons. Uh, for people, anyone interested in CAD wants to learn the, the, <laughs> the best tools that you're going to likely to be using in everything you do. Uh, so uh, we did one earlier, uh, the line lent. Now we're doing the trim tool. So if you have any queries or you want to do something that seems a bit odd or you don't know how to do it, uh, by all means, leave a comment and come on back. We try to answer all the questions. So I think you've understood, or you should understand by now, what the trim tool does. Um, so I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. And say, yeah, that's fine. See you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching.